Welcome to SAP Analytics Cloud. My name is Vasco Guerreiro and today I'm going to show you how to use SAP Analytics Cloud as a collaboration engine. When creating data visualization and data analysis projects, one of the main challenges is to discuss contents and designs with the different stakeholders. In this video, I will show you how you can collaborate with other users in real time without leaving SAP Analytics Cloud. By collaboration, I mean share comments and findings, discuss alternatives, update designs, set tasks and deadlines, and interact in real time. Right now, I will use an existing story to show you how to leverage some of the collaboration capabilities available in SAP Analytics Cloud. Let's focus on the discussion icon, the bubbles on top right. This is the entry point to our chat environment. I will start with the discussion functionality and get the opinion of my colleague Frank about the short I just created. For that, I'm clicking on the plus sign on the top right corner of our discussion icon and send him a message. Once I hit send, Frank will get an email invitation in his mailbox, in this case, Microsoft Outlook, asking him to join a private discussion in SAP Analytics Cloud. Here Frank just needs to click on Open Discussion and he will be immediately redirected to the chat. Note that I have previously created Frank as a user of my project. I will now ask Frank what he thinks about changing the color of the chart. Let's tag Frank's name by clicking the chart and the head comment button. Just like for the chat discussion, Frank will receive an email notification with the question I have just asked. As a matter of fact, Frank can do the change directly if he has read and write access to the chart or send me his suggestion in the comment box. With SAP Analytics Cloud, I can as well create tasks and add them to my team's calendars. Now I'm going to add a new task for Frank to perform. I just need to click on the plus sign on our discussion box and select New Task. A window will pop up. Then I can add a title for the task, a description, a start date, as well as an end date. Also, I can add the name of the person that will have to execute the task. In our example, this will again be Frank. Once the information is completed, I can hit OK to move forward. Frank will receive a new email with information related to the task. Right now, I'm going to open the task on the Notification Center and see Frank's calendar. I would also like to show you how to share a complete story. For that, I will go to the File Options, select the Share icon and click on Share Story. A new window will open up and I can add the users that will get access to my story. Here, I can grant three kinds of accesses. A Read Access, a Read and Update Access, and then access to the full story. For our example, I will give Frank the full access. Now let's see how we can share an attachment, in this case an image, with Frank. Now Frank can edit, comment and even share the story with his team members.